How's it going? Welcome to the shop. I hope you're having a great day. Today's actually my birthday and it's been pretty good. But I digress. What I'm going to show you is how I do my Kydex sheaths. Nice and snappy. Let's get on with it. Here we go. I know I said in the last video that the handles will probably be next, but I have a little bit of a dilemma. I was looking at all the knives that are on my website like this one, and I was like, man, there has to be a reason they're not selling. And I looked and the grinds were just horrible. So I was like, man, I'll take them and I'll fix them up. But now, all the Kydex sheets are loose. So I have to do Kydex for this one. This one's not too bad. So this one will be for sale. But my dilemma is, I didn't even have time to take pictures of the new blade. And this one sold. Which means I've been working on it for the last two days to get a prep so I can send it out. Because I don't like people waiting, you know. If someone buys something, I want to ship it out as soon as possible. Yeah, so also I have this one to do, which I finally finished. This one to do with the stone wash, even though it hasn't been uh, with just the sandblasting after the stone finish. And last, this one I've been working on all morning too. So I've been trying to bust my chops to get all these done. These should be up on the website in the next few days. Once I do Kydex, just put my logo on, sharpen them up, and they're good to go. Enough talking. Let's get on to this Kydex. So... It's about time to get some new stuff. But mainly I got it for when I'm doing that big old chopper. You know, I can lay it down. I think it's time to cut this in half. If you've never seen this, it's real easy. It's just a piece of wood cut small. Then the 12 inches you hang, hang over. You can see I, I made the hinge hole longer. So as you clamp it, it can give and take. Basically the clamp is just to hold it in place so the top piece doesn't go flying around. You see, it can go up and down. So when you clamp it, it clamps down and gives you more pressure. I keep these pieces loose so I can, you know, move them around. So you want to fit it in, and then the bottom is just the same piece with two things. That way you can fit the clamps in, slide it down, and bam, you got it good. And you need a thermal gun to watch over the stove to see how hot it is. Now I use the waffle iron. I found it's a lot better because some people will use like a, a, a stove or a toaster oven, which I used to use. The problem with the toaster oven and all that, you can't control the heat. You know, you have to keep opening the door and, and it, it's just it's a pain in the butt. But a lot of people do it and it works. You know, whatever works for you. This way I just put on thermal gloves, watch it, and then boom, right into the press. I think I'm gonna save these two pieces for when I do the chopper. You know, I'll have one on top and one on bottom or whatever, however it is, or these two on the top and the other on the bottom. But let me put these away for now. Go. Now there's two sides. Let me see if I remember. There's like a hard side and a soft side. If you watch my previous video, I put it on the soft side and it all tore off with the Kydex. <laughs> so make sure the top side has like a layer. All right, let's get this oven rolling. I like to do it about 320. It's about the best part, 320 or something like that. All right, I'm gonna wait there. Let me go get some Kydex. Let's see where we're at here. 250, 229, 260, 300. So what I like to do, let's find what we got. It's like everything else. You want plenty of room, plenty of stuff. So I always flip it. And then add more. 
I think it's about seven inches, is what I remember. Oh, too hot. We're up to 400. Let me turn it down some. Give it some time to cool down. <laughs> now, when it comes to the this, just take a razor, score it. Then you just fold it over and snaps right off. Whap, whap. There you go. Yeah, we're at four. I'll have to be back because we're at like uh, we're at like four fifteen, four twenty. I want like three seventy five at the highest. So let me get some gloves on. Here we go. These are thermal gloves. Oh. Man, I'm so sure caught up, I'm forgetting the most important part. We gotta tape it up. Here we go. I always forget one thing, but this is the most important thing. Here we go. Roll montage. <laughs> I do three layers. When you get it here, I always put it long like this, and then cut out. That way you know it's right, or know it's perfect. And cut out. And when you're cutting, you don't want to cut from the seam in. You want to cut from the middle out. That way it won't bunch up. There you go. Oh, I need a piece for in here too. <laughs> Man, I'm forgetting everything today. Luckily I have a little bowl where I keep all these pieces, so. Yeah, there we go, perfect fit. Now that's just so, when it comes over, you know, you have a piece here to pull the knife out. Here we go. I'll put a piece back here just to hold this piece in because I want the retention of, of the screws but I want the definition here too. So, all right, I think we're ready. <laughs> Let's see where Temple we're at. Oh, we're at like 330, 340, so I'll turn it up just a hair. Here we go. I like to put the shiny side down. Now I get this set up so I'm not struggling with these. There we go. One for the front, one for the back. Here we go. Hold the sides down. Make sure it gets nice and even. You don't want it melting together. <laughs> if you see my last couple times doing it, you'll see I had it melting together. Yeah, when it starts falling up like that, you can tell it's getting pliable. You just want to get, keep it even, but you want to make sure you can still lift it. See how it's getting nice and flimsy? But you want it melting a little bit more. Now we're gonna pull it how we want it, tight. Over, here we go. There we go. Ah. Yeehaw. There we go. Now we wait about 10, 15 minutes before we pull it out. We'll see what it looks like. I'll be back. The big reveal. Ah. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, we got some definition there. <laughs> Take this piece out right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> So now, I'll lay it out and cut all these pieces off. And we're gonna cut it up here, right back here. We see, you can see the screw holes right here. And those are gonna be what retains it. So we'll come up right behind there and come down. And just cut it out. Put this back in the spot with all the other ones. <laughs> I'll be back, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all these other ones and then I'll be back. I almost cut this off camera. So that's the next thing, just cut it out. You know, you draw it, you lay it out. I usually lay it out every three quarters because I think that's what the tech locks are. Every three quarters. Got the earplugs in. Oh. 
right, I'm yelling. So what I'll do next is I'll drill holes and then uh, I'll take, you know, like quarter inch bolts and bolt every other one and then just kind of clean it up and that way I can see. All right, I'm gonna go drill it off camera. We don't need to see the drilling. There we go. Let's hit it on the grinder. Sounds like we got pretty good retention. Yeah. But see all this crap in here? After we grind it and shape it, we're gonna have to wash it out with soap and water and all that. I like to bring it up and then bring it back out. All right, to the grinder. I just got like a 120 on here. We're just gonna take it past the line and maybe a little bit more. Just try to make it even. You can see we got just a little bit here. So I'll try to make it that much out there. Just try to keep it all looking good. I like to flare this out for some reason. I don't know, it's just my look. And then I'll have to put the small wheel on to get all up in here. All right, here we go. So what I'll have to do, keep the knife out, just take a little bit out, try it, take a little bit out and try it. Yeah. All right, now I just take this and go over it. So now I like to put it, uh, ramp it, I'll get a screwdriver and here now you don't want to heat it up till it turns like gets all shiny i got it at like 350 370. you just want to get it pliable kind of heat it up see you don't want it shiny just enough to get it up see this is why you keep the tape on you see you got all that crap now yeah, like I said, we'll take the, the, you can see how it's black from doing, well, I think that's actually from carbon fiber. Just take it and smooth it out. Any notches like that, you want to make sure you get out. You might have to go down a lower grit, you know, go down to like a, an 80 or a 120, you know, whatever. That's why I get a bunch of these. They're great for Kydex and great for hand sanding. You know, a lot of people like to hand sand with putting it down and using strips and all that, which, you know, I'll do too. But you got to have a few different things. These come in real good. See, look how smooth that's going to be. All right, I'm going to finish this up, but man, that feels real nice. So what I got to do now before I put the eyelets in is I got to go wash it out. I'll just take all these bolts out. So now you just open it up like that. Put some dish soap in it. Get everything out of it because Kydex is notorious for scratching your blades. So wash it out as good as possible. See all that crap? Down the winding edge. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Oh yeah. Much better. <laughs> yeah. Looking good. All right, now if you got stuff like this, a little bit of ink left, just take a little bit of acetone. Comes right off. But acetone's not good for plastic, so don't like keep it on there. Just right on and right off. So that's about it. Boom. How I do my codex. <laughs> just quick and easy like that. Just take some practice and get it down. All right. So I think that's it. Hopefully this will be just a short one to get us through. I might try to get another video up and I'm definitely going to start on those handles. It's just threw me for a loop when I'm sitting here fixing up the knives and then someone orders one. You know, I posted on Instagram. <clears throat> so... I guess someone saw it and liked it, so I'm glad I did it, actually. But I digress. Hope you all are having a good time and uh, having a good day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Please like, please comment, subscribe.
click the little bell or whatever the notification thing YouTube is doing this week. <laughs> and as always, take it easy.